Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video, we will be talking about how to pull data from REST API using ADF. Okay, so in like, uh, so I have already taught you in the previous videos that what is REST API, what are the different methods in API and what is uh, a pagination concept in, if, in, uh, in API using Python script and with the help of Databricks platform. So if you haven't watched those videos, you can go to my channel and you can uh, search for this Databricks and PySpark playlist. And here you can see this 39 and 40 number video is present over here, you know, which which uh, which tells like what is REST API and what is pagination in REST API. So if you can see, I have explained also what is get, post, put, delete method of APIs. And then I have told you like what is pagination concept and like the same way, the same procedure will be applied in ADF also. But, you know, with the help of UI thing, we will doing, we, we, we will be doing, uh, you know, pulling the data. But in these in these two videos i have shown you how can we pull data from the api from the same api with the help of python script or uh, a small PySpark code okay so okay so let's let's get started for today's video so for that i have opened this window poke poke api okay you can see like we have uh, this endpoint pokemon pokemon so if I click on the submit button, then you can see we have this uh, this JSON, and here here also this is the this is the pagination concept, and here you can see we need this like we got this result where we are having name URL name URL like that. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, cool. So let's get started. Uh, so what we will doing for today's video is that we will create a REST API link service, then we will create REST API data set then we will create copy activity then blob link service and blob data set okay simple so if i go back to my adf i will go to this manage option here we can see this link service option click on this new button and search for rest api rest fine so here we need to pass the base url so the base url would be till pokemon okay so paste it over here and these are the different methods authentication type we have basic anonymous service principle and so on so today's video we will be talking i'm like since it's a basic video so i will be uh, using an anonymous method so you know in basic when you have a username and password then you will choose basic option and if you have a, a client id and secret things then you will choose the service principle option so for now i am choosing anonymous because i do not have any credentials right since we do not have any headers also so i will not be choosing this method and uh, yeah that's it so click on this test connection succeeded click on this create button cool so uh, you know uh, we have created a link service so what i will do i will go to this data set option click on this new data set and search again rest continue it choose the link service and click on ok fine now click on a pipeline click on new pipeline and here i will choose copy activity why i'm choosing copy activity because because we need to fetch data from some layer some sources and put it into different sources right so that's why we need a copy a copy data activity so if you can see in general option we have this general information so you can write down anything like based on your need and then you can see this we have source and sync so in source it is asking a source data set since we have created our data set so i will choose this rest resources and here we have multiple options request method get put i get post here we have uh, right and uh, then the request timeout by default it is this request interval in milliseconds this is 10 and then we have an additional header option also with what is like if you need to add some additional headers we can add it but in this case we are not adding it and then this pagination rules okay suppose like in api we have uh, multiple pages so how can we fetch data from the multiple pages instead of only one pages right so that is the uh, that is the way i mean we can use this uh, this uh, option 
to fetch data from multiple pages right now we are deleting it because we do not need it and fine so everything is clear over here if you click on this preview data so we will be receiving this response the same response we will be receiving see fine till 19 till 20 okay fine till 20 cancel it click on the sync button so we have a link service already present for the uh, blob storage so i will click on plus button azure blob storage and click on this json because the response in the source side is json object say json format right so i will choose this azure blob storage 2 okay fine open it oh sorry cancel it and here i have to pass my container name so the container name is sync2 pass it over here and i will pass some uh, name let's say pokemon pokemon dot json fine correct compression time everything would be same it's not required for now copy behavior none metadata options nothing file pattern okay fine now if i click on this debug button and if i go to here you can see here right now we do not have any file dot with dot json name right so if i refresh it oh it's keep on running it got succeeded and if i refresh it again here then you will see like we have this pokemon.json file so if i click on this edit button over here so you will see we have some data so the same data we have it right so if you like see this count 1154 and here also with the count is 1154 and the rest of this will be same mm, we are gone here right same 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 so see these all count next previous let's say there's a scenario that there's only one page okay and you you are uh, you let's say there is not a one page like uh, we have a different multiple pages but you do not need this uh, count next previous this these all are the metadata columns right metadata uh, attributes so we do not need it in our uh, in our end layer let's say you know so we do not want these layers uh, these columns or attributes so what would you do is that see go to this mapping option okay uh, import schema by default it will you know import now you can see this count next previous right we do not need this so what we will do we will remove it remove it and remove it here okay mapping sync is uh, empty let's say remove it do not need it so we need only G uh, results right so i will keep this and here also let's uh, keep the same thing okay and click on this debug button now if i refresh it now if i refresh it again you can see we have this result you know this count and previous options uh, aligning the attributes has been removed and now we have only result name you are like name you are all name you are and name you are things okay the, because like we do not need that uh, that options or attribute because it is not required in our uh, uh, case so you can remove it if you want by this method suppose you have multiple things then you can choose multiple uh, names over here multiple uh, you know attribute or schema over here and you can you know map it map it so this is the basic video of how to pull data from api using adf and i will be teaching i will be creating video on how to you know how to uh, do origination options uh, in here and how to pass a, a header and all those stuff in the next videos so i hope you have understood understood this concept and if you liked it please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and yeah thank you